Alright. Character stone and clipping through our current characters. Now you're the boss here. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Fair enough. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before I toss it all out. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialists for the base. That might be nice, yes. Anyway, you're cool. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Yep, that's how we need to know. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are gonna need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Hmm. What do you think? What? What good is he? What do you have to offer us? Well, I know this city like the back of my hand. And this city knows me. My time in the marshals means I've got connections and trusted informants everywhere. Plus, I'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper. And, though it hurts my civic pride to say it, there are places around here where those things might come in handy. It's your call. You're the leader of this little band. Eh, we'll manage. Don't need a babysitter. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> Just let me know if you <laughs> change the point, though. He doesn't want to be stuck doing paperwork. Makes sense, but we still need people to do paperwork. Oh, so they're not following us for some reason. Mm -hmm. You gotta select them both. Oh. You gotta, yeah, you gotta select your character too. That's it. Heads up, raise your backs. Oh. I found the creepy door. Okay then. I found the local fauna. I count at least two razor backs. That's somewhat creepy. What was that? I am not sure. But apparently... Ran, just ran up to it and stared at it. Oh yeah, the, I'm... I messed up. Clearly. Oh shit, they have... So we take turns per character. Makes sense. Yeah, good to know. Probably shouldn't have forgotten to equip everyone. Ugh. I'm gonna need to put more points in the medic. Uh, don't worry, Rans got that. Oh, 
Well, at least now we know exactly what happens when we get spotted. We also know what the sounds were when... You know... The sounds mm. were hidden from the other side. I have shitty odds. Oh wait. That's better. Hmm. I forgot I had the assault rifle equipped. Ah. Uh. Wolverine fur. Makes sense. Should probably look into healing our people. Yeah, maybe. First of all, you have been something better. Okay, we have something to remove poison. Um, no clue. Beauty, sing a presentation, restoration. Sound like it. Sounds about right. So I switch feet to have a hammer instead so you can equip the bladed weapon. I mean, she came with a bladed weapon. Yeah, but that one's better. Oh, poison seems to have just run out. Uh, what'd you draw? Oh, Blade of Winter? Yeah. Short on metal supply now. Yeah. What do we have here? Probably should have left the the nerd check on that. Oh well. <laughs> Whoops. The power button on the machine resists your press, seemingly rusted in place. It makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives way. The screen comes to life with a sad beep. Raid. Failure. Corruption detected across multiple sectors. Initiating. Automated repair operation. Recovery complete. View recovered logs. And it's a whole bunch of logs. So I'm just going to step away. Yeah, we don't have that, that much time. That is called lore, and we don't have time for that. It pains me to do so, but we do not have time for that. Oh, I'm gonna go way by the door. We seem to have things under control. Can we go up here? Yes, yes we can. Oh, yeah? Cool. First oh, the thingy. thingy. Yeah. Spikes, ammo, ammo, money, and a tin can. Peace. 
sad point. Right. Hey, all boats is always nice. Let's finish exploring this place. At least. Door. You went right past the door. Yeah, because this place is open. I know. Well, it was, well, it seems to be some sort of mess hall. Damn it, we there. don't have toaster retail. <laughs> nope. Of all things to be missing. Please, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Hmm. Nah. Who? Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. What the fuck are you? I'm Dill Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? The other soldiers wouldn't want us around, I know. That's not that we want to cause trouble for you. Few of us might be able to earn our keep. We're not trained fighters, but... We can defend ourselves with a knife or a club. The use it of the security system? Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started moving. Yeah. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything on before. Hmm. That is weird. Why not just go to the fucking city? Yeah. We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. Uh, fine, you can stay. You said yes. Uh, I was sure you wouldn't. <laughs> we won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing, Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us? Sure. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Oh, you're gonna customize up here instead. Hmm. Interesting. And container. Look at you stealing from these poor refugees. Hey, they're not refugees anymore. Six. No. Seven. Months since the bombs fell. Um, had an incident at the West Gate. Some civilians dug under the fence and tried to make a run for the commissary. Sergeant Peters told us to open fire. Standing orders. There's to be shot on sight. of a cell is a pale, frailty man with matted hair and fraying faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, lazy eye cream. Hey dudes, hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before, have I? He sounds like he's stoned. 
What the new landlords? We're in charge here now. Oh, wow. Wow. Eh? <laughs> new uh, landlords. That's cool, man. Cool. I hope taking over is uh, going good for you. What, uh, what brought you out here? A top secret. Hmm. Eh, I think there's still people. We're here to help Colorado. That's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there like more of you here? Actually, got a couple questions for you. Oh yeah, man. Of course. I don't. I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. He's some pretty good voice acting. <laughs> right. First things first. Who the fuck are you? My name. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, Ned. Ned. Harry. Nick, Booger, Dickens, Lyle? Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. I, I kind of been here for a while. So I see. How long is a while? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. How are you alive? <laughs> like, He's a saint. There's sin. no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. How have you survived? <laughs> you know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Sure. A little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. That sounds like a lot of disease. And, uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushroom grow there, man. Uh, <laughs> and now I know so what he is. I have a little self-made uh, self fertilizer. Those mushrooms are growing good. Oh, yeah, I do see them growing up there on the corner. <laughs> you hmm. believing in uh, I mean, I guess it could be worse. Uh, why are you in here? We <laughs> don't know. Because uh, the cell door is locked. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Why did they put you in there? Oh man, didn't you like my joke? I mean, I did, but still. Okay, no, okay, it's... like, well. So a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man, like former friend who decided he didn't uh, want to go splitsies anymore. So he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man, like seriously. Um, who else has been here before? Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Kinda, kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. 
Before him, tired eyes, lady. Before her, this smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Okay, why is he called dead guy? Probably because he's dead over there on the desk. <laughs> oh man, that's uh, that's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. I think we found uh, Adam. Andy, yeah. Yeah, Andy. Whoops. Well. Well, she was, uh, she was a woman, dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> Anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. Mm -hmm. We talked um, for a bit and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for company, you know? <sighs> okay, then. What about the smiling woman, just to be sure? Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a traitor. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was gonna deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, sure, cause uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to uh, oh. to say that. Okay then. So slave trader. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Cool. Been living off wall water and shrooms. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yum, yum. Oh yeah, and uh, bugs when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Well, he, the voice actors definitely did their job well. <laughs> yeah. Do you want us to let us out and have tempted to just kill him? Oh man, yes, yes, please. Very much. I'd, uh, I'd really really, really like to get out of here. Really. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. I don't know about letting him out. No promises. Cool, cool. I, I get it, man. No pressure, but... Uh, uh yeah, you can't open this sure yet. appreciate it. So... So... <laughs> Yeah, I just did. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I own this conversation, apparently. Apparently it's an examination. Yeah, I guess it's just step with it. First day, check for signs of electrocution. <laughs> Login admin, password admin.
I guess Sam did not, in, did not consider the, the option of trying just, you know, admin admin. The body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes and he's been dead long enough for the body to move forward. But not long enough to rot. Try to establish a cause of death. No shit. I mean, I've already done that, but okay. I don't think we have anyone with perception three. Uh, so how badly do you want to let this creepy guy out? Not really. Then I'm leaving the key in there. Why you found the key? Yeah, it's in the fucking container. Ah. Uh. So I could probably open one of these other cells for like the one that has loot over there. Yeah. <laughs> we both opened that thing up. Spend the big like that. Oh, it's junk. Junk can be sold. Yep. Also, I have one hand right now. Because my other arm has become a headrest for a feline. <laughs> oh well, later. Later, creepy mushroom dude. Might release him later, might not. We'll see. Dead. Weren't we gonna like, you know, call it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we're really sure. Because it's like three in the morning for you. Yeah, something like that. Two in okay. the morning for me. But yeah, I hope you all have fun. And uh, next time we'll explore the left side of the <laughs> building. Yeah. Um, anyway. Pet. A pet cat. <laughs> yes, pet cat. You can now pet the cat. <laughs> Thank you, Major Tonker. Right, I've been mean, Yegomo, there's here with me, and we'll see you next time. Bye!